Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Father God, you are faithful and true and good and just. And what you say goes. None can speak against or stand against your word. You are unchanging. You have always been. You will always be. You are everywhere. You are all powerful. You are all knowing. You hear our every prayer, every person's prayer in the world. You know every hair on our head. I ask that we would revere you and have a holy fear towards you. Whilst recognising that we can approach your throne room with boldness because your grace and your mercy and your forgiveness covers us. Please open our eyes and our ears and our hearts and our minds to your word today. Amen. Exodus chapter 31 Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I have specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He is a master craftsman, expert in working with gold, silver and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and in carving wood. He is a master at every craft. And I have personally appointed Aholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, to be his assistant. Moreover, I have given special skill to all the gifted craftsmen, so they can make all the things I have commanded you to make. The tabernacle, the ark of the covenant, the ark's cover, the place of atonement, all the furnishings of the tabernacle, the table and its utensils, the pure gold lampstand with all its accessories, the incense altar, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, the wash basin with its stand, the beautifully stitched garments, the sacred garments for Aaron and the priest, and the garments for all for his sons to wear, as they minister as priests, the anointing oil, the fragrant incense for the holy place. The craftsmen must make everything as I have commanded you. The Lord then gave these instructions to Moses. Tell the people of Israel, be careful to keep my Sabbath day, for the Sabbath is a sign of the covenant between me and you, from generation to generation. It is given so you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. You must keep the Sabbath day, for it is a holy day for you. Anyone who desecrates it must be put to death. Anyone who works on that day will be cut off from the community. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day must be a Sabbath day of complete rest, a holy day dedicated to the Lord. Anyone who works on the Sabbath must be put to death. The people of Israel must keep the Sabbath day by observing it from generation to generation. This is a covenant obligation for all time. It is a permanent sign of my covenant with the people of Israel, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, but on the seventh day he stopped working and was refreshed. When the Lord finished speaking with Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him 
the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant, written by the finger of God. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, I thank you for the last five or six chapters that we've read of Exodus. It's all instruction directly from your mouth as to how the Israelites should live, how they should treat each other, the laws that should be available, and all the different things that were made like the that you commanded to be made like the, the tabernacle and the Ark of the Covenant and the garments. I thank you that you instruct us, that you guide us, that you don't leave us on our own to fulfil the things you want us to fulfil. You fill us with your Holy Spirit and you give us direct instruction. And I thank you for that. I pray, my Lord and my God, that we wouldn't break we wouldn't break away from you and that we would not break away from the laws that you have set, whatever they may be. Fill us with your love and your grace and your mercy. Amen.